Hey, what's up guys? Synapse here. This video is actually for trolls in the Twitch chat. And I made this cutscene so that when somebody is trolling in the chat, we have the option of doing the guillotine ceremony where it's off with their head. If you guys think this is cool, please subscribe to the channel, give it a like, and let me know in the comments what you think. Okay, let's say that I'm streaming and some troll rolls up into the chat or just somebody that wants to get their head chopped off. So what'll happen is when I'm in the stream, I'll type in exclamation chop and then the name of the person. Then once I say that, the scripts go straight to work. It's completely automated and the person's name is gonna automatically show up. There it is. So whatever name I put in there, that's the name that appears during the stream. And it also appears at the very end. So it's a pretty cool script. I do like to script my alerts and cutscenes. Let's take a closer look at how it all came together. Pretty much in Cinema 4D, after I put the scene together, including uh, the Lich King, all of the environment and the lights and stuff, I actually took, uh, I went to Gilneas and I took a 360 panorama uh, from Gilneas. The panorama looks like this. If you want to download this panoramic, check the description, go to my website, and I have lots of images as well as the panorama for download over there. And if you want to know more about how I made the panoramic, I used a program called PanoShot and I stitched them together using a program called AutoStitch. It's a pretty straightforward workflow and it just stitches all of these different images together. And the interesting thing was if you just go past these gates, here in Gilneas, there's actually a guillotine in the game. It's pretty dark. I thought this place would be perfect for the guillotine shot. As far as the Lich King, he's pretty badass. So I thought he would go well in this scene. And you can see how the background is just projected onto the sphere. As I move around in the scene, it gives the scene perspective. The foreground is moving independently of the background. And for the Lich King, I was able to extract the bones of the Lich King using WoW Model Viewer. And most of his movements here were already rigged from the game. I added some additional custom rigging so that he would kind of breathe and loop right here at the end when he's pointing his sword to the trolls. It was pretty hard to decide which character we wanted to use as the executioner, but I feel like Lich King really fits the bill. As far as the troll is concerned, we had to put somebody in the guillotine. And since the theme is about trolling, what better character to use than a troll? Gotta say a huge shout out to Woolcap for that awesome idea. Although I downloaded the model of the guillotine, I did all the textures for the guillotine. So that wood color and also that cool metal color, I picked out to texture the guillotine and it definitely looks like a wooden guillotine. I didn't want to be too gory. I thought this was already disturbing enough without the gore. Plus it's for the stream, so we don't want it to be too gory. And here in After Effects, I added some color grading. I was using the Lumetri Color. Cool little After Effects tip here. In the newest version of After Effects, Lumetri Color is super cool because it has a sharpening effect that's really crisp and it's really fast. Lumetri renders a lot faster than many of the other color grading tools that I've used. It's really speedy, especially that sharpen. To get the same kind of sharpen, Typically, I have to use an unsharpened mask, which renders really slowly. So after adding a little bit of color and a little glow effect, I had a pretty solid grade here. And then I just moved it over, added some lens flares. There are some flares in there that just give it that little flare touch. And just looking at the composition and all of the keyframes, I really like to get into it keyframe by keyframe and just add as many keyframes as are needed get the effect I'm looking for. There's a little twitch effect as we're going up across the blade. As far as the MLG edit, I wasn't sure how we should end. And here's what the MLG edit looks like. So why not end it with something really trolly? I don't know what's any more trolly than MLG edits. They're pretty bad. So when I looked at this edit and I was like, oh my God, this is terrible. I knew for sure it was perfect. Let's take a look at the audio editing. I did audio in Adobe Audition. And so I put together all of the sound effects from the throat singing at the very beginning to 
a little choir effect. Then there's this bass drop that has this very deep kind of synth to it. And then I added the ghost music from World of Warcraft, which gives it that dark ghost feeling. And then finally those slice sounds. I use the multiband compressor to keep all the levels in order. I also added a few other effects to some of the layers like studio reverb, a little stereo expander. And I think that really brings the sound to life. If you guys want to see some more content from this project, check the description for a link to my website. And I posted some background images. Uh, some of them are 1080 images that can be used as backgrounds and some screenshots from the workflow just to see what it looks like. More information about the software I used and what that software is for. I've got uh, some panoramics here. One other cool image that came from this project is this Lich King helmet. Uh, this is a 1080 image that you can download. I put this image up here because it makes a really good background wallpaper. And all you got to do is open it in a new tab like this. And you can see the full resolution version for download if you want it. Currently, it is the background on my desktop because I like these darker backgrounds because I'm a gamer and I game really late at night. Sometimes I just want to turn off all the lights and I don't want a super bright monitor. That's it for this video. If you like this video, hit me up with a sub. Can't wait to hear what you think in the comments. Give it a like if you like. Good luck and have fun.